Well, we can get back uh, to the story we wanted to lead with earlier tonight, a little technical issue, but we got things sorted out. This is regarding the shooting that has now left three people injured in downtown Dallas. Yeah, J.D. Miles was live for us when this all happened earlier this afternoon, so we want to go back live now to J.D. J.D., can you tell us what we've learned in that time uh, since we last spoke to you? Yeah. Nicole and Doug, witnesses paint a very disturbing picture of what was going on inside this building around noon today. One of the victims, one of the men who was wounded, was walking around holding his stomach, bleeding and pleading for help, but a lot of bystanders were told were simply too scared and instead locked themselves inside their units. We continue to see Dallas police coming and going from the building. This remains a crime scene tonight about six hours later, but we are also told that tenants of the Continental are allowed to also come and go as they please. Now around noon, shots rang out on the eighth floor, which we've obtained these photos of from a tenant. Three people were wounded, two adults and one teenager who we are told is a DISD student. Fears of a possible active shooter spread inside and outside the building, which police quickly swarmed, blocking off streets and restricting access to the Continental. Police never released any information about who was responsible or if there was even a search for a suspect. It wasn't like um, what you hear in the movies, like an automatic weapon or anything. It was more pop, 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 pop. And I peeked my head out the door, my door. And a man was walking towards me with his, you know, holding his guts and help me. I've been shot. Now that witness says she was too afraid that the shooter might have been nearby and instead uh, hid inside her unit. The three people shot, we are told, were all taken to area hospitals and sources tell me they're all expected to survive. We hope to get another update from DPD at some point this evening to help explain what happened. But I'm told by sources that this shooting emanated or resulted from some type of dispute. Mm. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.